yeah, yeah, yeah. We like to say we're always prepared in 2041 for any eventuality. So here we are with the security team preparing for parts. <laughs> I've taken them down. <laughs> All's good. Yeah, that'll kill them. Laugh them to that. <laughs> oh, steady, steady. It's the recoil. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad to stop day 21, like. Yeah, and we're a day closer. And oh, we're a day closer. And we're a too closer. We're probably what? How was the miles out? A little bit less. A little bit less. So, no matter picks up. I lost my cell phone. You didn't lose it, it's on the boat somewhere. It's somewhere. Look, uh, I lost a box of ammunition. <laughs> How can you lose a cell phone? But we don't even have reception here. Did you ask Derek? Because I believe Derek has a habit of throwing them off the back of boats. Man, back though. No. No. Well, we've run out of fresh food. Yeah. So I've just opened a tin of luncheon meat. Mm. A tube of chicken, about this big. Yeah. I've now chopped up. And um, making some black bean chicken with it. Which we're going to eat with rice. Looks good to the camera lens, but I'm sure it's not. And some rice. Any weevils in the rice? No weevils in this rice, it's clear. Sure. Okay, that's well, good. Hopefully there will be some wheels in there because uh, we need the nutrition. Really. Carrier, the protein. Dara, you alright? Oh, yes, working hard here on my bio. Yeah, M Mr. Uh, movie found out how to watch movies on the uh, laptop now. Working very hard here. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Type to come in. Yeah. Sending his accounts, that's it. See, everybody's just having a holiday on day 22. And coming into Cape Town, everybody's just chilled out. I say, come in that last bit. Derek's miles off course there, it looks like. Still doing about nine knots. So, um, yeah, just I say, running out of food. Everything those last few days coming in now. Running low. Uh, looking forward to it. Very tired. I mean, I said the ETA would be about the uh, 17th, I think. But I think it might be the 18th we get there. So, we've got about six more days, five more days, six more days. A thousand miles. Just hope the wind stays because with no diesel we're going to have problems. We might have to pull in somewhere to get the uh, top of it. Day 20. Train 5. We're just coming up to the Cape. He's got his big cigar out. Yeah. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Oh, my thumb. Oh, no. So, was that the size it was when you got it first? Yeah. Stumpy. Stumpy. <laughs> so, he's going to smoke a cigar going down the uh, Cape. Of oh, what Cape is this? Where is the Cape? This is Cape Receive. It's over there. KP, it's just there. Yeah, KP, we're going to P. Is that right? Well, I've had a look at the weather. We're going to Cape Town now. Ah, oh, happy days. <laughs> well, day 25. We've made plans to go into uh, Port Elizabeth, which is over here, which is currently uh, 90 miles away. Because uh, our head sails falling into part, there's a big depression coming in, and basically we've no diesel. So you can see where we are relative to the South Africa, just on the bottom there, coming in, making good speed at the moment. There's um, there's uh, a weather system coming in, which is also part of the reason why we're pulling in, because with the head sail ripped. Out there with a crappy headset, falling to pieces. There's a lot of wind coming in. I'll show you now. This is our weather file system. We receive grip files. We we'll get these down. As you can see, the red is lots of wind, and the blue is so so. We're here, and if we run through the days, basically coming close to there. See, there's a lot of red, which is not good, and it points in the direction the wind is, so that's not good for us. And that's another reason why we are going to Cape Town, or to PE rather than Cape Town. Vlog just before we arrive in PE. I am. Yeah, that's it. 
Andy. But he just has me and scrubbing the heads before I go, like, you know, because I'm have a look at the heads. Look how nice and clean. Oh, look, see? Well, Dunny's leaving me to go in the Northwest Passage. Yeah, take, it, take that note in as well. Yeah, and he left us a few notes around the place. I don't know what the kids are going to think about it when they come on board. To the both of this rolling at all sit down to piss. Mm. Very true. This does not apply to ladies only. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's Derek. He's going to go and do the Northwest Passage and let me suffer on with the rest of the fucking <laughs> crew. Say to me, we just check and see what the rest are up to. Kyoto's still sleeping, obviously, that's all he's done the whole way so far. Yeah, yeah, he's just in his cabin the whole time. He likes it in there. We're a bit worried about him at the beginning, but now we just think it's normal for him to be in there all the time. Dara's on the wheel. Dara. Ah, get the covers. Last bit of vlog before we arrive in PE. Yeah. 25 days at sea. 25 days at sea, the sun is shining. It's alright. 40 miles to go, go to South Africa. Over yonder, down there. Adam's up the front, dead keen, putting everything away, all excited. They were all debating about whether we get in time for dinner or not. I tell you, we'll be lucky to get in for breakfast this stage. Anyway, that's it. See you all in Rio.